Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. <clears throat> I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to talk about a patient who came in uh, with a disease called Tysis bulbi. Okay, it's a pretty, pretty weird name. Uh, so it's spelled P-H-T-H-I-S-I-S -I -S, and then bulbi, B-U-L-B-I. So basically what Tysis bulbi is, is that this person had an eye that's just basically scarred and and lost all integrity and just not diseased in a sick end stage sick eye. Uh, and from the history of this patient it appears that probably she had uh, a central retinal vein occlusion. That is the vein that drains the blood out of the back of the eye got plugged up like thrombosis, like getting a thrombosis in your leg. So this vein plugs up so all the hemorrhaging occurs inside the retina and um, what happens with, with uh, central vein of occlusions is if it's the ischemic type, that is there's also loss of blood flow into the eye, then you get proliferation of abnormal vessels in the eye. These vessels can grow up to the front of the eye, into the iris, block off the angle where the fluid drains out of the eye and cause probably the, was the most severe type of glaucoma called neovascular glaucoma, which means blood vessels vascular new blood vessels have now plugged up the drainage system totally and these are very difficult cases to handle. She evidently had had some operations on her eye for glaucoma but were not successful which is pretty typical and so her cornea because this is a sick eye had scarring of her cornea which is no longer clear and her eye was all red and inflamed and uh, her actually her pressure was zero inside the eye so the the ciliary body here behind your iris produces fluid that fills up the eye, goes up into the front of the eye, and then drains out. Well, this the eye is so sick that this is not really producing any fluid anymore, and so the pressure inside the eye is zero. A, a normal eye has a pressure of about 10 to 21, and uh, so what happens when the pressure is that low and the eye is that sick and inflamed, it becomes painful. And so she came in because her eye was painful uh, because of how sick her eye is. And um, so the treatments are, are, in the beginning you do simple things. So sometimes we put these people on prednisone, which is an anti-inflammatory to calm the eye down to try to give them pain relief and sometimes that's not quite enough and then we also use sometimes uh, and uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like Advil that's in an eye drop uh, and that can be used to try to release decrease the inflammation and decrease the pain uh, the pain relieving aspects uh, of the medicine and decrease the pain in the eye and then if that's not enough and they have severe pain which does occur in some patients then one choice is, is to do a block, that is to do an injection behind the eye to block the nerves going to the eye with absolute alcohol. So the alcohol kills the nerves so it blocks the pain uh, but unfortunately that typically the nerves regenerate some and typically they the pain returns with alcohol blocks so really haven't done those recently at all but I used to back in many years ago. And then the last thing is if the eye is just that painful and intolerable, uh, then actually you sometimes on occasion have to remove the eye to stop the pain. So Tysis bulbi is basically the eye is so sick that it's now where there's no pressure in the eye, there's inflammation in the eye, the eye maybe have all kinds of scar tissue on the surface of the eye and they can become very uncomfortable and then uh, we try to treat it conservatively in the beginning but it could lead to actually eventually removing somebody's eye. So if you have any questions about any type of eye problem I will be tr happy to try to answer those. If not, may God grant you healthy eyes and great vision.